Hi folks, I've been making some lure experiments again, making some simple lures out of wine bottle cork. This time I've used uh, artificial cork, not natural ones. So uh, this one should these ones should hold up better uh, in terms of soaking water. Um, this is a top water lure with a diving plane that I ground on a sanding disc. The line tie and belly hook hanger consists of a piece of stainless steel wire bent into a paper clip manner and epoxied into a ball leading from the center of the diving plane right down to the belly. The back depression I ground with an over router bit uh, with my dreamer and uh, as you can see the swivel of the rear spinner blade is secured by a crosswise wire pin that you just push through the cork. Uh, it has a little belly weight because this cork is very buoyant but I guess the lure is too uh, buoyant it will remain on the surface only on a very rapid retrieve it might go down just two or three inches below the surface. Here's a diving crankbait. The diving lip I cut out from a screw on bottle top of a soft drink, epoxied into a slot that I cut with a cutting wheel with my dreamer. The wire harness is embedded into a slot and poked through a ball leading to the front. Um, it also has a weight epoxied into the belly. Probably it is uh, better to rig these rather short and tiny lures with only one treble at the rear part of the belly because uh, it might tangle with the lip and second this way you would have uh, more space to put additional ballast inside because the lures is, are still quite buoyant. Well now I'm going to show you how this swim. Okay, this is the top water lure with the rear spinner blade. As you can see it sits high, uh, quite high above the surface, very buoyant material. This is why it won't dive too deep, but let's see. You can use it as a surface lure. Only on a faster retrieve it goes down a bit. Probably a mixture of both retrieve manners would bring in the goodies. Let's fold up now again. Okay, another try. A nasty dog outside. So well, don't think it would dive that deep, but it might probably coax a strike. I guess I'm going to paint this lures later, because they appear to be quite durable, more than as if they would be made of natural cork, actually. Alright, I will now try the next one. Okay, here's the crankbait. As you can see, it also sits quite high on top of the surface. Cork is a very buoyant material. But due to its reasonably big lip, it dives down and it has a very tight wiggle. But as I said before, probably it would be better to rig it with only one belly hook. It won't reduce the hookup chances too much because the lure is too small anyway. Works quite fine. But won't dive deeper than two to three feet maybe. Depends again on how much lead you put inside. But it has a nice action. I like it. Alright. Uh, one more thing to say, 
about the tools to to use to uh, work on this artificial cork stuff. Um, as I said before, I use uh, grinding equipment, um, but it will leave the surface a bit uh, fuzzy, meaning that the, you cannot remove the fibers of the material that would remain on edges. What I actually do to get these fibers away is to take a cigarette lighter and, and uh, work over them with the lighter flame. That one would burn away the small fibers and you get smooth edges. You will not be able to do this uh, with sandpaper or so because always new fibers, fibers would evolve. So you just burn them away very carefully not to melt the material. It works quite fine. Alright, that was it. Thanks for watching.